Three things to do after a virtual networking event. You've reached the end of your virtual networking event. You may believe that the hard part is over, but the truth is some of the most important parts of the event are about to commence. After all, a good online event lives forever in several ways. They're more than just online versions of physical events. They provide their own long-lasting value in content, community and opportunities. Therefore, we need to change the way we build these events, prepare for them, conduct them and the things we do after the session is over. Transform Area to Knowledge Hub Chances are your virtual event provided valuable content to your attendees. Instead of simply letting it fade, you need to make this content last. Take the event area and transform it into a hub for visitors to come and learn more. Be sure to make it known that this is what you're doing. Additionally, make sure that you set it up to be user-friendly and searchable. Catalogue the content according to the main topics and build campaigns around it to target the appropriate groups. Content should be published and promoted on a variety of online outlets. Then, repurpose the content to create other assets. For example, turn your video clips into written blog posts and turn blog posts and articles into videos. Make sure to research SEO to ensure that you're utilizing the appropriate keywords within descriptions and articles. This will improve the exposure of your knowledge hub. Then, make sure to invite members of your organization to add to it and tell others about it. Maintain contact with attendees. Your knowledge hub should be more than a place where people come to get information about the topic. It should be an active community that begins with the original attendees and speakers but it's also inviting to others who are interested in the topic. As industry leaders begin to share their thoughts and provide assistance to each other, there will be additional networking opportunities that will open up. This community will also spark new ideas for future events and assets for the Knowledge Hub. The information you publish will gather interest, but the community is what will keep your flame burning. Of course, you should keep in mind that maintaining engagement within the community isn't easy. Therefore, it should be a priority, and adequate resources should be allocated in order to make it a successful venture. If managed properly, you'll aim towards high attendance and an easy process for hiring speakers in the future. Analyse your numbers. Taking the time to analyse your analytics will help you get a better handle on your target audience. This information will tell you what content worked and what didn't, which will help you build your follow-up and determine which videos you should develop into full articles and perhaps even build a series around. It will also direct you to a specific focus for the community. The numbers you gather and the discernment you get from them will help you make the next event a bigger success and will allow you to create personalised experiences for your interest groups. Thanks to the tech nature of virtual events, it is possible to make the information personalised. However, this does require that you have a reliable database. Once you have your plan worked out, the data should also help with your marketing and targeting efforts. Conclusion There's much more to a virtual event than the event itself. Even after it's over, there's still much work to do. This work will help you make sure that the information stays alive and can be accessed by attendees and anyone else interested in the future. Additionally, it can help you with ensuring that future events are a success. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.